welcome back to Cheers. How you doing? I hope you've been good. <laughs> and healthy. And, and healthy. happy. And, and all the positive things in the world. <laughs> we have like a dry skin hacks slash must have products type of video for you today. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in the things we use, then just, just keep, keep watching. watching. What I'll start off with is the Eliza Becca Help Pore Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And it's, Say it, girl. <laughs> and it is 97%. This has been in a few of the videos, but it just looks like that with a cute little piggy witch. A big reason why we chose these products was because not only did we see it personally work on us, but as we were researching the ingredients and noted some of the ingredients that we'll share with you, um, we kind of came to understand why they work so well for us. So we just kind of wanted to share that. Mm -hmm. And specifically for the hyaluronic acid, most of you are probably aware of why hyaluronic acid is good for you. Um, it basically draws in moisture from the atmosphere and brings it to your skin. But um, if you don't have any moisture in the atmosphere, then it can actually take moisture from your skin and cause you to dry out even further. So if you do end up using anything with hyaluronic acid in it, make sure you have like a really good moisturized area or that you have like or that you have a good cream on top of it so what hyaluronic acid really does is it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and um, it has therefore like a plumping property to it but another reason why it's also really good for you is that since it does draw all that moisture to your skin, your skin doesn't really have to focus on hydrating itself and so it's able to focus on other things that enable it to actually you know heal the fine lines or like reduce the fine lines and then get that plumping property for you so um as well as reduce the look of enlarged pores mm. so that's why the plump in yeah exactly <laughs> so um it's like botox for your face essentially yeah a natural <laughs> temporary botox. exactly that's a really good way of putting it i'm gonna kind of tag along with what she said because my next product is also um, hyaluronic acid based so I'm not gonna go into all the details because Laura kind of explained all that but you guys know our holy grail the hyaluronic acid intensive cream from Cosa Rx this is literally my lifesaver when especially when it's winter time here because mm -hmm. it's so dry like me and Laura were talking about how crusty we've been like, which is weird because usually I'm not this crusty yeah, but, but this year this particularly I, my skin has been struggling it's also like abnormally cold here in Washington compared to other winters yeah. for like an extended period of time so our skin's really been feeling the effects of that mm -hmm. but um, yeah this is something I use every night I don't like to wear it under makeup because it does kind of pill up your makeup because mm -hmm. it's so thick but um, I'll go in with a toner and then go in with like a more concentrated serum depending on what my skin needs that can vary from like a vitamin C serum to like you know a hydrating serum kind of like Laura just showed but um, I always use this and then um, this isn't a spray that I typically will use like hand in hand it's just whatever I have on hand I'll use mm -hmm. but this is just the sim it's a face mist and it's called fresh soda and it's the red energy version it smells really good and um, it's basically any Can spray yeah any spray that's like from Korean oh, skincare, it's sorry. a mist. And I think American technology oh, actually... It smells like soda. Yeah. Like a berry like soda. Like a berry soda, right? Ooh, I love the fact that it's a mist though, rather than it's spray. Yeah, it's a continuous spray. And this is like a, a new technology that's coming to America because Morphe just came out with a continuous mist too. What's, isn't that, wait, so what's the difference between this and the rose rain mist? Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, but those are, it's, they're both continuous sprays uh -huh. where like a lot of Americans hydrating sprays are pumps, like spray pumps instead oh. of like a mist. Interesting. And yeah. America doesn't have that? It's like coming here now. Oh, like weird. More Cause I just, cause this one. has been something that like this type of technology, I guess it's been yeah. something that I've been using from Korean products for like years All now. All the time. And it's in American hairsprays. Yeah, exactly. Has, like, so why doesn't skincare. it go into skin? That's why I, I was like, know. I was surprised to hear that. Yeah. You can kind of find any spray really, but the main ingredients in any kind of hydrating spray is typically water and glycerin. So water, mm -hmm. of course, brings moisture, hence yeah, it's moisture also a comes cheap from water. Product. Yeah, <laughs> and then glycerin is also a humectant, so exactly mm -hmm. like hyaluronic acid, it helps your skin absorb. Um, moisture particles from the air and put them into the first layer of your skin. It's just a natural thing, just like hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. Or hyaluronic acid, I guess, is more chemical, right? Yeah. Yeah, but glycerin's the same thing, it's mm -hmm. just a more, it's plant-based, but 
yeah, this with this, you stay moisturized all day, all night. Yeah. Like, it's so good, and you wake up feeling, like, amazing. I love yeah. it. <laughs> um, my next product is going to be Cozarx Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence, and it has a 96 because 96% of this product is actually filled with snail mucin. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> so don't think about it too hard when you actually apply it, but it does um, kind of gross you out. Yeah. <laughs> These two products actually have a very similar texture where if you were to like put it on your skin, then it has like a little gloop effect. If you, you ever see use that. like clear Elmer's glue, uh, I haven't kinda... used it. What it feels yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> but it feels really like it absorbs so quickly into your skin. Yeah. And when you're putting it onto your skin, because it has that loopy effect or something, it feels really soft. But it's not like. Oh my goodness, it's I not have glue on my face. No, it's, it's like goes in. Yeah, because it, it absorbs, absorbs very, in. very quickly. Apparently, snail mucin has a lot of natural ingredients occurring within it, like uh, glycoproteins, glycolic acid, and hyaluronic acid as well. And a lot of these ingredients really kind of help heal the skin as well as provide moisture to it. So if you were to kind of ex like think or imagine a snail, it's really dragging its body across like dirt and hard and rough surfaces Rock, all day. Cement. <laughs> and so it produces this mucin that really helps protect it as well as heal it if it does get cut. So a lot of Korean products use snail mucin in um, just even like a lot of like essences. So for more concentration yeah. as well as like face masks. Um, and that'll help like heal even like acne scars or something like that. So a lot of people who have dry skin or like scarring, this is a product that um, a lot of Koreans tend to really, not necessarily Cozarex, but just like snail, snail mucin in ge yeah. general. It's a highly recommended product. Um, I'm gonna go again with another hydrating product. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It's another skin mist, but it's a little more bougie, I guess, because it's, you know, Japanese skincare, man. <laughs> it's so expensive. But um, you can wear this under and over makeup just as like a touch up type of spray. I was reading online and it's made of 20% botanical oils and um, humectant so it also has hyaluronic acid in it and glycerin which both also protect your skin from like harm throughout the day. If you've ever used hyaluronic acid but like if you wash your face you can feel it wash off. Yeah, it has like a Slipping. film of, yeah, exactly, yeah. like slippery, like sliminess yeah, to it. Yeah, and that's like protecting pollutants, I guess, from going into your skin. So that's another benefit of those two ingredients. But um, this is made of Okinawa red algae extract Ooh. and um, hyaluronic acid. So the algae is an antioxidant, which is an anti-aging type yeah. of thing. And a lot of hydrating products are anti-aging just because the more hydrated you are, the less crusty you are, and the less wrinkles you'll get. So um, yeah, those are the two main ingredients, and then they have a, uh, a tri-complex that's anti-aging, and I think Tatcha as a line has these three products just in general, but it's green tea extract, rice, and, and the algae. So those are the things that help you stay moisturized all day. And then some like extra ingredients that they have that are a little bit more inactive are ginseng and uh, royal jelly is oh, also in here. Cool. My final product is going to be a sheet mask that I really, really enjoy. I've actually given one of these to Chanel to mm -hmm. take home before too when her skin was struggling, but it is Nature Republic's Argan Oil Sheet Mask. It's a hydrogel, so it's not like just any type of sheet, but it has like a jelly like sheet it's clear, to it. like a jello. Mm -hmm. And this one is like a concentrated version of Argan, so it says like concentration right here in Korean. But um, basically when I was looking up a lot of the ingredients, um, not only does it have a concentration of argan oil, but it also has other ingredients like capric and caprylic triglycerides, which is really found a lot in things like coconut oil. And a lot of people know that coconut oil is really good. And it's really good for antifungal properties as well as um, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. So a lot of people who have like yeast infections or like um, acne palms, yeah, and stuff acne like that. for sure. Um, coconut oil has been really well known for that. But argan oil in particular has been found traditionally in the Moroccan culture where they used it for things like eczema, psoriasis, and uh, wrinkles and even hair loss. It has a lot of monosaturated fatty acids and a lot of antioxidants. Like Chanel said, um, those are really good for just like healing and all that stuff. Strengthening your Strengthening, skin. yeah, exactly. And argan oil actually has more vitamin E than olive oil. So that's like a huge thing. So obviously that 
hydration factor. Yeah. But this uh, pack also has something called Centella Asiatica. Um, and that's really good for improving elasticity and strengthening the skin as well as um, also again antioxidants. So this sheet is not only good for hydration but also I think really good for acne. Okay, my last product is not necessarily a hydrating product um, but it's been helping immensely through this really cold and dry season. It's the Holica Holica Lazy and Easy Smooth Egg Peeling Gel. You've seen this in one of our favorites. It's Looks like little Gudetama and it's an egg shape. It's a um, AHA, which stands for alpha hydroxy um, acid type of peel. So there's two type of peels, AHA and BHA. This one is an AHA. And it uses sugarcane extract to um, exfoliate the first layer of your skin. And it's not like it's granular in here either. Mm -mm, it's just, so a, it's, it's literally just the gel. extract of it. Yeah. yeah. Cause I know there's like sugar scrubs and it's not like mm -hmm. that at all. Like you'll feel, you'll put it on and you'll feel your skin ball up because it's peeling off like the those first, layer. first layers. And I used this the other day cause like it was so weird. I never get dry skin under my eyes, but I had dry skin under my eyes. Like literally like the crusty parts. Yeah, I couldn't wear makeup because it would catch. Yeah, and then I used this and I put makeup on again and it was fine. Wow. Yeah, so I know it works and it's not just like the compound itself balling on it, you know, balling mm -hmm, up. It's mm -hmm. like actually your, your skin. skin. And then another thing I found that, you know, it doesn't really look like it, but there's egg yolks in here because this is clear, but I guess they take the extract of an egg yolk mm -hmm. and they put it in. So egg yolks are made of mostly water and fat and um, it's basically a water binding agent. So similar to hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. it helps water absorb into your skin. That's really cool. I know. And then it locks it in because oh. if you, ever seen like an egg yolk it's encapsulated right yeah. so it it like helps lock in the moisture in your skin which is really awesome and it says it's best for dry and flaky skin which goes well with this product yeah um just because that's why you're using it because you mm -hmm. look crusty <laughs> Um, and then some other um, ingredients they have in here are water, glycerin, and a lot of citrus extract. So I guess this is also good for brightening. brightening. Yeah. So, cause I know whenever I use this, my skin looks completely different over mm -hmm. like just one use. And then this also contains eggshell membrane, which is a natural collagen. It helps with kind of decreasing your wrinkle depth and um, inflammation and it overall increases your luminance and um, smoothness for your skin. So mm -hmm. in an ingre uh, a product like this, it's a really good ingredient to have because you just overall have better skin quality. Yeah. So these are our holy grail products for dry skin times of the year. Yeah, <laughs> but obviously like as much as it does help to do topically with all of these products, the important part is your um, drinking water. Yeah, drinking water is probably going to be Same the best hydrating. thing for you. For sure. Yeah. And if you don't like drinking water like me, <laughs> a good alternative is like coconut water or flavored water just so, you know, you're staying hydrated and kind of stay away from like caffeinated drinks because I know that kind of <laughs> as, we're as we're drinking tea. black tea. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like in moderation for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just stay hydrated, stay healthy. And of course, all these products are used in conjunction to our normal skincare routine. Yeah. We just didn't want to include that because y'all know about that. <laughs> yeah. At Tommy was At Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you liked it, give us a like. And if you uh, have any suggestions on like products we should try, leave a comment in the description comment section oh, below. You right. <laughs> in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And as always, cheers, cheers to a good week, week. guys. Bye. Bye. Sips tea. <laughs> I love them hard tongue. <laughs>